Hello everybody, I am Crystal Clear 101 and today we're reviewing a Halo Mega Block set. Hello everybody, I am Crystal Clear 101. Welcome back to my channel. We have another toy review today. And today I am reviewing Halo Mega Block set number 97453 UNSC Fireteam Eagle. This set was released in the beginning of 2015. It's a general release. The set contains 140 pieces, and the suggested retail is $14.99. Now, first off, let's look over the front of the packaging. Now, as you can see, it displays one of the figures with the interchangeable armor system right here. Obviously, suggested age, what the set is, by the way, multiple languages. The number of pieces, a cool little scene we got right here. On the side, it just tells what the set is in different languages. On the reverse side, it shows what the contents of the entire set is, including the figures, what some extra pieces build, along with weapons, what kind of figures we get along right through here, along with along with this saying this is the this has the interchangeable armor system. And right down here it says uh, Microsoft Studios. Also, very clearly says 343 Industries. And if you want to check out, there's some more information on halo.metablocks.com. Now, uh, we got the same thing on the other side as on this side. Now, if we look on the top of the packaging, it will show what the five figures are and what the five armors are. We have the UNSC Spartan Soldier, Scout, Enforcer, Oceanic, and Aviator. And the one that's in here that they're showing is the Enforcer. Now, let's take a second to pause this video. Just long enough to build this set. Now, here is the set in its entirety. Well, let's go ahead and get a better look at the set. Now, first off, the thing that's going to get your attention, obviously, are going to be the figures. Now, let's take a look at each individual one. Starting with the one that we would see displayed within the package itself. But here we have the Enforcer. Now, what I like about this particular set is because this actually has the interchangeable armor system, you can actually swap the armors out on these figures. Um, you can swap out the shoulder pieces, chest, back armor pieces... But you can swap out those parts on any of these other little figures. Make your own little custom figures. They don't have to be, you know, set to whatever armor configuration they're already set to. But every single one of these is done up in a yellow armor, black jumpsuit. The visors for each one, most of them are painted up about the same. Uh, this one, the visors painted up in white. And of course, every single one's going to have a peg hole on the back for weapon storage. But here we have the Enforcer. Now, this one right here is a fan favorite with a lot of people is the Scout. Now, the visor for this one is kind of like a, almost, I want to say like a pearl color. I want to say it's a silver, it's kind of a, a almost like a mother of pearl kind of color. But it reflects very nicely. And on top of that, this little mini figure actually looks really sweet. The next one up we have is the soldier. Let's go ahead and get him. Now, of the basic armor types, this one actually looks very nice. Let me move the flag right here. Now his visor is also done up in a nut and a uh, pearl color. It's real thin, but it's done up in pearl. And when sh and when you do when light is shine on it, it actually is a little reflective. So it actually looks very nice. That's one of this one's probably my favorite. This is the oceanic. Now, the visor for it is done up in white with black highlights for details. Let me move the scatter shot. 
But overall, this one looks very, very nice. I mean, for me, this one's probably my single favorite of this group. And last but not least, we have the Aviator. Now, the visor for this one is also done up in a pearl color. And when light is shining on it, actually, this one uh, is a little closer to silver than pearl. But, um, this one you actually have to look at. Because if you just look at with his helmet like with his helmet like that, you almost cannot see his visor. It almost looks like his visor wasn't painted. Now the good thing is not only is there a weapon for every single figure, but there are four pulse grenades. So you have almost one for each figure. They still include five little figure stands. There is a Halo 4 style jetpack. We have a hard light shield, a little transparent base for storing either one of these or both. That's up to your discretion. And now as for, as for the little structure itself, let's go ahead and get a better look at that. Obviously, it's supposed to be a little forerunner hard light bridge. Now, I will say this, as far as uh, Mega Bloks is concerned, I'm glad over the last few years they have been providing uh, um, little forerunner structures. Because, uh, I mean, it's always nice to have these. I've always loved the design of the forerunner structures. They look so intricate, artistic, beautiful. But this one, I believe this is the first time we're getting a hard light bridge. Yeah, it's small, but it's very simple. It's original. And the deal with a set like this just makes this all the all the better. Now, I mean, yeah, some of these fit you can store, I mean, you can put all five figures on here if you want to. And you can, you know, make little scenes with this bridge if you want to. Um, but again, that's you know, whatever you decide to do with the set. One little thing I did forget to point out. Um, there is one any complaint I do have, I honestly do have, with some of these figures, especially the soldier right here, I've had some of the parts on them just pop off. Like this leg right here, it just pops off very easily. But the good thing is it's on a, um, it's on a little ball joint, so it goes on back easily. But some of these figures, um, I have been having. Uh, the legs pop off, so if you get this set, you know, just make notice of that. Make note of that. I probably just got a, I probably just got a bad figure here, but I'm just saying it's possible you get that with one of these sets. But to actually be able to display, you know, almost like a multiplayer style scene with this little set just makes this all the better. If you ask me, this is a fantastic little set for 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 the uh, fourteen ninety nine it retails for. Weapons and accessories for the set include a Forerunner Z110 Directed Energy Pistol Exotic, also known as a Bolt Shot. The Z180 Closed Combat Rifle Asymmetric Engagement Mitigator, also simply known as a Scatter Shot. A Z250 Directed Energy Engagement Weapon, also simply known as the Light Rifle. A Z390 High Explosive Munitions Rifle, also simply known as an Incineration Cannon. The Z750 Special Application Sniper Rifle, also simply known as a Binary Rifle. Four 740 Attenuation Field Generators Slash Localized, also simply known as Pulse Grenades. A Halo 4 Style Jetpack which can be mounted on a transparent display stand, which gives the figure the illusion that the figure is operating the jetpack and allows for more display options. A Z90 Photonic Coalescence Emitter, also simply known as a hard light shield, which can have a clip mounted in the center of the shield, then mounted to the transparent display stand, which allows for more display options. And last but not least, the Fireteam Eagle flag, which has a printed eagle on the flag itself, and can be mounted on either the transparent base used for the jetpack and hard light shield, on the Forerunner hard light bridge, 
or can be held by one of the five minifigures, which allows for infinitely more display options. Now, what are my thoughts about uh, this particular set, the UNSC Fireteam Eagle set? For the $14.99 that this set retails for, you get a very nice assortment of Halo 4 Spartans. You get an excellent assortment of Forerunner weapons, especially the binary rifle, the incineration cannon. You get some nice little astros like the Halo 4 style jetpack, the hard light shield, the pulse grenades, even the little Forerunner light bridge, hard light bridge, is, very, is a very nice little touch. But if you ask me, this set is well worth the fourteen ninety nine. You know, my very mi my very minor complaints aside, this is an excellent set. If you love Halo Four, if you just like Halo Battle Blast in general, go out and get this set. This is well worth the fourteen ninety nine. Because if you were to ask me, um, the only way I tell you to get this, I'd probably tell you to get an extra set of this one because this is just that good of a set. But that'll wrap up my review on the Halo Metablots UNSC Fireteam Eagle set. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.